Yeah, the City Provisions Deli, our mission is to connect our community with food. And we do that by working with local farmers, with local artisans, local distillers and brewers, wine makers, cheese makers, uh, candy makers. When you look at our ham sandwich, that ham comes into us as a whole hog. We butcher in house, we break it down, we brine and smoke the hams, we do chicioli and sausages and pâtés and everything. We use the whole animal. Hams and brine. Brine is uh, salt, sugar, a little mirepoix, and water. Mirepoix meaning onion, carrot, celery. And bourbon, don't forget your bourbon. So basically halfway through your brine, you wanna add the bourbon. And then when you take the ham out of the brine, you wanna inject that brine just a little bit into the meat. And I read about this bourbon being produced in Iowa and how good it was. And that was in the, the Sunday Magazine of the Tribune. So Monday morning, I called the distiller and left a message saying, I need that bourbon on my shelves. Not only is it local, but I love bourbon, and I have no bourbon on the shelf. So not only am I really happy to have it, but now I'm happy to be cooking with it. There aren't many vegetables right now anyway, so it was pretty easy. I wound up going between turkey and ham, and turkey and ham, and eventually settled on ham. First step of the recipe. <laughs> I learned when I was younger from Jeff Smith of the Frugal Gourmet. Never cook with a wine that you won't drink. Mechaim. After you pull the ham out of the brine, you just want to kind of stud your ham with the cloves. The recipe just calls for a handful of cloves. You can stud it as much or as little as you want. Okay, so basically you want to take the ham, throw it in a roasting pan, cup and a quarter of water. You're going to pour about a cup of bourbon into the roasting pan. Put it in the oven at 300. Let that slow roast for a while. While that's roasting, you get to do your glaze. So basically what I've done is I've taken um, some apple cider. I get mine from Seedling, which is in South Haven, Michigan. A little bit of Dijon mustard, whichever you'd like. I like the mustard girl, she's right here in Chicago. A little apple cider vinegar and brown sugar, a little touch of salt and pepper as well. So I'm gonna throw all that into a pan. You wanna measure this out. You got your bourbon in there. Too. A lot of uh, smaller batch bourbons are really hot, really, you know, you drink them and you're, you're burning on fire. This is just really nice and smooth. And there's something about the, that, uh, that oakiness, that caramely sweetness that I, I just really enjoy. People are light or dark. They either like the light stuff or they like the dark stuff. I like the good stuff. just smells so good. So you want to baste this uh, every hour for a good four hours until the temperature comes up to 150. Add those in there. All those good bitsy bits. Bourbon adds that perfect sweetness with a little bit of booze edge. Oh okay, yeah, my gym. <laughs> Wait a minute, not complete. Perfect pairing. I feel like she is, flies under the radar a lot. She does some really, really nice work. Uh, she's very like-minded. Uh, she works with a lot of local farmers. Plus, any woman that serves a side of bourbon with a, a sandwich is one kind of woman.